Hi everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on SQL. This is Srinath Mukamalla and you are watching the latest tutorial on SQL. Today we are going to learn about how to alter a table, SQL drop and truncate commands. Let's go to the SQL server now. So we will see what is there in this table first. So as of now in this table we have four six four sorry six rows and four columns so now what my requirement is like i need to have a another column called blocks i need to know where this csc department is located in which block make make in which block mechatronics and aeronautical tribly in which block for that what i need to do i need to have a other column called blocks so let's see that alter table which table add what is the name we need to give blocks give block and the type I'll give varchar of 20 so let's run this now if I execute this a new column will be added called blocks see a new column is added at blocks now so now mod what my requirement is like I don't want this head of the department table sorry head of the department column here for this what I need to do I need to add a I need to run through drop command so alter table college drop column head of the department now if I run this that table that column will be removed let's see that so what happened here the head of the department column has been removed so what uh, now we need to learn one more thing here so now it's it now this um, block is worker so now I want to change this type so that also we can do here so by using alter so let's see that also alter table college alter column uh, I'll give block now because it's a var cap so my var cap I need to change to in var cap of 20 so let's run this the command has been successfully executed the varchar has been changed to n varchar so let's run this it will run so next we will go to the truncate so truncate is used to remove the rows and columns from a table let's let's do that here you will truncate table college so one second let me okay fine so command successfully executed now if I run this see data has been removed from this table but if I insert it starts from starting again see again if I run this the data will be removed so let me help me run this yeah data has been removed I hope you understand the video if you like the video please like do subscribe and uh, share the video to the other people and if we, if any other technology you want to learn just put a comment so that if any of my friends know the technology i can refer to them thanks